Hello there, everybody. This is No Name One One Seven Spore. This is my second live stream of the day, and yeah, I am back with From the Depths. And yeah, this is working exactly as uh, planned. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to the campaign today, and you know, what I want to do is uh. We want to make more progress on taking out the Departed Guard, but as much as I say that, we only have a single ship at the moment, which uh, does make stuff a little hard. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to remain a little uh, defensive for the moment. Um, I believe is this guy, yeah. And... Okay, yeah, we're in the house over here. We don't have this square captured. Per se. I was trying to repair these houses, but it just wouldn't let me. The stairs are backwards. Alright, so you need to move over here. I'm trying to remember which house I need to repair. I think they're all good, right? But yeah, we need to get... Oh, is here fine? Here might be fine for this square. So if we can capture here, we might be okay. I would imagine. Uh, but what we want to do... Is... Actually, if we look at the map, we can actually see little bits of material salvage in different locations. That was actually probably from the spawn stuff. Yeah, different nations are fighting each other, and we're mostly trying to take out the Deepwater Guard here uh, in the early game. So what I want to do is I want to go back to the main base here. And we need to build... Well, I mean, we need to build a ship. Let's be real. So, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all these guys out of play. We need to build a ship, a repair ship or a construction ship to build a base in another location. Um, let's put you in play. And then hope that they don't attack our forces while we're doing this. Um... Okay. Okay, come on. Give me a new boat. Give me a new boat. Please. Okay. If we do this. If we do... Do I have to hop in the ocean to do it? What about here? Thank you. Alright, so I do have to hop in the ocean to do it. Uh, so in this case, I will construct it using this as the bottom block, but real quickly I'm gonna go to uh, Conqueror how much material do we have? we do not have enough to afford another Conqueror oh we got something over there what is it? is it moving? what are you? Are you stationary or are you moving? It does appear to be slowly moving towards the houses. So we'll start capturing here. We'll move them over this way. And it looks like we are going to have a battle to fight. And, yeah, the whatever small block I spawned didn't really count. You know what I wish is I wish you could just go to a ship like this and uh, copy the paint scheme. Yep. There we go. Fight the Wanda. Alright, so we can spawn in this circle. I want to spawn in deeper water, and I want to spawn this way.
brought side to it. The other thing I need to check is, are the secondaries... They're not. Is our AI actually working? What? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna reload the campaign. That That's worth a reload. Something on the ship broke. Um... Uh, pull all of you out of play. Pull you back in play. Warp to you. Okay, did you suffer any damage from that? No, the water was still deep enough. Alright, so what's going on with the weapon controller here? Because I don't know what's going on with that. Whatever that is, it's something weird. I actually did see a block missing over here. Is that intentional? Okay, that is intentional. Alright, so the weapon controller is somewhere, I think, more towards the... Yeah, it's in here. Well, not in here. This is the AI. So you're on channel 1, which is, yeah, where the AI should be transmitting to. So why is the AI on the ship not working? Channel 1. Connected to mainframe, unnamed mainframe, which is off. What? How is your mainframe off? What did they break? What did they break with the update? Wait, no. Play. Oh. That, that was probably why it wasn't firing before. Oops. Well, anyway, um... Anyway, so that that's fixed, I think. Right? Are you fixed? Yeah, you're fixed now. Okay. So the other issue I'm having is these shells here. No ammo controller selected. Despite very clearly having one for them. Okay, I don't know what's causing the weird constant lag spikes, but you are seeing that, right? Like that, yeah. Actually, that might be something related to, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's related to top deck, um, water pumps. If, if I put one on this deck, that would probably be related to it. Because that does tend to happen. No ammo control. What? Didn't I just put ammo in some of you guys? Do you not work? Seven shell modules. Yeah. What? Okay. Oh, I didn't apply. My bad. Okay, this is this is weird. This is really weird. I'm having to select it twice. But this will actually get the casemates firing again. Yeah, okay, so that's very weird.
So I'm having to double click on them rather than single click on them. Which is uh, definitely strange. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do was uh, grab this paint color here. Alright. Copy. Alright, so then I'm gonna pull you out of play and send you over to capture here. I think you're in play, right? Set teleport to here. Nope, you're not in play. Okay, put you in play then. And now we will try to go back to it, but I'm gonna guess that that wand is still gonna attack, and then we're still gonna wind up in battle. Now, what is with these weird freezes? Maybe, maybe an AI battle is going on somewhere. Maybe that's it. Like somewhere. Yep, there's the Wanda. Hold on. Conquer. Engage in battle. I don't know if I'll automatically spawn in my vehicle chair or not upon the battle starting. But in this regard, I want you over this way. Because if I don't, what I want to try to do is I want to see if I can capture the Wanda. Okay, so I won't spawn in it, so I'll just kind of start walking towards the Wanda. If we can shoot it down over land, then that would be fine, and I'll order the weapons to stop. Alright, it's got missiles. Hold fire, hold fire. Oh, damn it. I keep trying to capture these ships, but no. How much damage did we take? Not much, not much, we're fine. Let's have a little bit of damage to, uh, looks like one of the, our cannon guns. I'm gonna turn your weapons on and pull you out of play. How much, how many resources? Not much. So yeah, be in there, capture it. Because that should capture that square, and now I'm just gonna warp back to the fortress. Play the fortress, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna start building a, uh, some sort, some sort of warship. Well, not warship. Uh, probably cargo ship here, so that we can get a uh, second fortress constructed over the second resource deposit. Actually, this will be not not quite a cargo ship, but more like a repair vessel. All right, so I'm going to start with lightweight alloy because I like that. Um, paste color apply, but we're probably going to need something else. So I'll, I'll put five down because it won't delete it. Yeah. And then we'll move it on to that thing. But I do probably actually need to bring the ship up a little bit. So fortress controller, or not the ship, the fortress up a bit. So raise the fortress a little bit. Not too much. I mean, to be fair, the uh, additional defenses on the fortress, um, well, the ammunition on the fortress is still below the water. The additional defenses are above the water. Um, I'll probably need to delete some of this stuff uh, relatively soon. Because I probably am not going to want this fortress to see combat. And we'll probably heavily modify the fortress to actually contain like a dry dock or something in the future. Uh, no selection. New vehicle. Apply selection. Activate tractor beam. That should work. Um, although, will it... Oh, no, it won't orient it weirdly because I have the orientation set up uh, properly from my other ship. So, we want this ship to be capable of basically being able to repair my uh, main force. And what I'm going to do is I am actually going to go over to you and spawn you in. Oh. So it is very clear that whatever the weird lag spikes are, they're not actually related to this ship. Um, what I want to do is I want to copy this color.
you get pulled. Just stay where you are. We do need to capture these squares back. Um, it looks like they are starting to advance on them again. But I do want to be held in a defensive position over there. Well, I mean, part of this is my requirement that I kind of have to build everything. Uh, no, you guys should not enable camel. So yeah, that, that, that requirement does kind of mess with stuff a bit, I will admit. I'm going to swap this to lead so that uh, we have a bit of a lead keel and uh, makes it harder for the ship to sink. Part of me... Part of me wants to swap part of the keel to a uh, wood, but I think that would look ugly, so I'm not going to do it. Looks are more important here. If only if only there was a cheap block with the stats of wood. Like, cheap, um, this sort of looking block with the stats of wood. I need to use more heavy armor at some point. Uh, maybe on one of the next ship next couple ship designs I do. I think against the Deepwater Guard, normal metal's just fine, but when you start facing other groups, yeah, you'll probably want to start putting some heavy armor on your vessels. And I will probably do some sort of a heavy armor scheme on the next ship I build. So, well, not next ship I build, next battleship I build. I'm thinking about building a cruiser first. Um, Alright, what did I want? I wanted... Resources, material storage, cargo containers. How many resources can these hold? A lot. <laughs> so, I mean, this ship's going to be relatively small, I will admit. I don't know what sort of engine I'm going to have in it. It might just be the case where... You know, I, th I think it'll be... Hmm, I'm trying to decide how big I actually want it. Because if I build it like this wide, it's going to be a very tiny vessel. Um, I can build like two cargo containers wide. The cargo container is uh, six long. So building it, the cargo containers like this won't work. So I guess I'll have to build it like seven wide or something. Huh. <sighs> I mean, even able to be even being able to just get like two or four cargo containers around is probably enough. Maybe not quite enough. Maybe like six, six around would be good. So I'm gonna double up on this first of all, and then we are actually gonna put the cargo containers on. We will need an engine, but only a small one. Maybe uh, actually maybe we'll have a couple engines, like four smaller engines. Um. Alright, uh, won't be an armored ship, although I will give it alloy because alloy looks nice, and even though I will give it alloy, that is kind of a little expensive. Actually, is it more expensive if I give it alloy or mimics? If I gave it mimicked alloy, that would actually be less expensive, but, uh, more taxing on the system, so I probably don't want to do that. Uh, I am forgetting about what I was about to do. Uh, oh yeah, resources. So, cargo containers here. So I'm just going to start probably here. Pretend that's a hold. Pretend that's a hold. So yeah, now we can... Is that enough? 300,000? Yeah, I can ship a whole battleship around with this. Although, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a fourth set here. That should be enough, uh, cargo. Alright, so then... So the engine would probably go back here. Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. We're gonna have, uh, engines in the center. Alright, so if I jam cargo containers on the end, that'll work, yeah, that'll work a lot better. Okay, get out of build mode, look at the map. Do we have any new stuff going on over here? No, doesn't look like it, not yet at the very least. 
Alright. So now we have this uh, cargo. Let's go to the metal alloy. So let's see. So we're definitely going to need... We're going to definitely need to do this. At the very least. And then... Actually, you know what? What I wanted to do there was I wanted to find a nice uh, middle point. So... Okay, thank you. Actually, you know what? I mean, the, for the cargo base, the ship should just be kind of... Shouldn't really curve very much at all. So we're going to do... I'm actually going to do these... I'll, I'll do three meter slopes on the edges of these. All the way back here at the very least. Cargo ships, you can get away with them being a little more angular. And normally I'd just do something kind of on the sides, like uh, flat-sided on these ships, which I think might actually be a perfectly good idea. Uh, so now I just gotta correctly associate this with uh, here. Yeah, okay, cool. That does give me a place I have to build these out to at the very least. But as much as this is a, uh, you know, cargo ship, it also has to be a repair ship. So I'm probably going to have to jam some, like, cranes on it or something. Just so that it kind of has that look. Um, I mean, this will be used for assembling bases. Okay, so in terms of a more cargo ship-like bow, uh, I'm going to Google. Cargo ship bow. Um, World War One. Uh, you all. Okay, so these kind of have a bit more of a straight bow sort of look to them. So we'll give her a, yeah, we'll give her a straight bow then. Even though the World War One ones are definitely going to be larger than this. Um, so... In that regard, uh, first of all, part of me wants to continue this back, part of me doesn't. Let's uh, transition it down to a two meter slope here. Okay. That'll work, and then we can start doing these uh, two meter uh, a two meter offset here. And then you know what? I should do that, and then do another or what two meter offset. three instead of four and then I'll do another two meter offset I'll go two this time we'll do a two meter to one meter transition and then I will do one two there and then I'll go with this for our uh, sharp forward bow. Because I don't know specifically where the water line's gonna be on this ship. Um, water line's probably gonna be here. Yes, I would. Oh crap, we have what? Coffin nail and a snap jaw. Good to know, good to know. So you Oh, they're blockaded. Warp to you. Pull away. Actually, no, both of our horses are blockaded. 
So you should angle to that side. Start battle. I want you as far back here as you can be. And I want you warp too. This is actually more concerning. Alright. Okay, so... Facing the coffin nail first, it looks like. Oh, I am being shot. Oh, not, sh not shot. I'm being shot at. Get in the... Get in here. Alright, I'm in the armored conning tower. Hey, Wish Cashew, we are currently under attack. I'm a coffin nail. Can the guns elevate enough? Yes, they can. We have killed the coffin nail. Nice shot. So Snapjaw's gonna spawn in next. Okay. Snapjaw time. So they have... They have responded a little bit more proportionally to the fleet. This time, however, I am going to hop out with the intent to capture, if possible. Uh -huh. Flying gun go boom. Snapjaw has landed on the water. Is it really firing back? No, it's not. Uh, guns off. For the moment. I will get the minigun out. Can any of those hit? Yes, they popped the balloons. That was my intention. So Snapjaw's in the water. We're gonna try for a capture on the Snapjaw and then probably bring it back to our main base and scrap it. Oh, damn it. It's too damaged. Wow, it literally just scuttled itself. Okay then, uh, go to the... Pull out of play, go over here. Actually, you know what? Capture in progress, stay there. Alright, play them again. Let's continue to build you. Okay, so that was, uh, concerning, to say the least, but we won. You know, we got out of that situation. And can continue to build our, uh, little freighter here. See, I should probably actually do another, uh, stack of the resources on top of this, the cargo containers. So, which, yeah, that's going to be a massive, or a pretty good carrying capacity for, you know, even this little ship. And then we can put some bulkheads in. Actually, I should probably leave that center one free. so that I can kind of walk in amongst the bulkheads here. So then the next layer on top would be the deck. Maybe it'll be something where some of this is maybe slightly elevated. I don't know. Yes. Yes, this is a cargo ship. Um, and one thing I'm going to do is color three uh, needs to be... Yeah, needs to be that. All right, so then... So yeah, I'm working out the bow at the moment. Uh, so we want to do kind of more of a straight bow sort of section. I would probably... 
Actually, I'd probably just want to do like this, but I'm going to have to do this instead. Just so I can get the colors right at the start. And then we go to paint three and then do this. And then, yeah, that gets me to the deck. Okay, so there's our kind of nose bow situation. Although what I might, what I'm considering doing is this. Did you say it was your birthday today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Um, it is 10.35 p.m. here, so it's not my birthday yet. Uh, tomorrow is the birthday. I want to do an Among Us stream for that. I don't know what else I want to do for that. Um, I've considered, like, Sea of Thieves or something as well, which I think would be fun. I, I want to do multiplayer stuff, preferably on that day. Uh, you know, try to bring people in the community together, because I feel like that's a good way to spend it. No, I'm going to do that, and then this. But today is very much uh, from the depths. Okay, now here's where things get a little interesting. So, actually, no, I can do that, and then do this. Did you play War Thunder? That's a con... I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no to War Thunder. And the reason I'm going to say no is because I kind of hate the game, even though I play it. it I do not want to be playing War Thunder on my birthday, if that makes sense. Um, That's literally my entire reason why. I was considering it because it is multiplayer, but no, not on my birthday. That is that is not a game I want to be live streaming on my birthday. I I don't want to I don't want to have to play that on a day which is supposed to be happy for me. <clears throat> Makes sense. Yep. Something like Among Us, I do very much enjoy playing with friends. Uh. And something like Sea of Thieves as well is another one of those just really fun games to play with friends. Oh, I'm on the Brinko War with the Scarlet Dawn? That's, uh... concerning. Why am I on the Brinko War with the Scarlet Dawn? Except for a broken controller. Yeah. Alright, so this will be a... Th what? No, no, we'll do another 2 to 4 meter here. In this case, I will actually do one of these 4 meter offsets. Although I kind of want to do an offset for one of these two, so I'm actually going to switch this guy up to a 3 meter sec... or 2 to 3 meter... And then you can probably also be a 2 to 3 meter as well. And then we can do maybe a 3 to 4 meter there as you do a 3 meter offset. That's a different color. Okay, this will this will work as a bow, I think. Um, so then, in the top section, back to color three, I want to do what probably so three meters already at the point or at the forwardmost point it can be at. So I just need to kind of go up with those. Uh, the four meter, however, can be offset further, which I will want to do. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to do a four meter slope. And then I'm going to offset it. And then maybe another 4 meter slope. And then I will do the same over here. Two, so slope. Offset. 
and then another slope. And then up top's going to be a little interesting because I'm going to want to do probably this. And then inverted L 3 meter. We'll be able to do an inverted L 4 meter here too. But then kind of stop stop it with that. I'm not going to add the detail of like an anchor or something on this ship yet. Um, I will later. I, I do fully intend to uh, detail these ships a lot more. But right now, you know, just really cannot be bothered. Alright. So this is slightly misaligned because of how the block shifted around. Okay, stick that in. And then we gotta stick other stuff in lower down on the ship. And hopefully this will allow us to get more, or build another base which will allow us to get more resources. Although there is a thought of just jamming some, uh, what are they, um, of the, I'm trying to remember what they're called, the, uh, Material gatherers. There's a thought of just jamming some material gatherers on this ship and having them go ham. Okay. You know what? I know I have bulkheads between these two, but I'm just going to leave that center area open. Actually, you know what? I'm going to... Yeah, you know what? I'll leave the bulkheads in as is. You know what? One thing this ship needs is a camo. So... What camo am I going to select? I'm going to try out uh, a new one I made. And I'm going to put it on both those. Let's bring it down probably to point 0.2. And see how it looks. Oh, it didn't load. Oh, right, yeah. A little blurry, but not bad. Um, I'll set it to point 0.3, maybe. Yeah, that looks better. That is... That is the camo I will use. And yes, I did custom make this camo. Because I actually custom make camos in this game for whatever reason. Um, I'm not going to enable it on you. Alright, so we'll do that. Uh, normally, I actually have a way to uh, mess with uh, slopes and such and uh, apply um, decking slopes, and I will be doing that. I'm just going to have a forward uh, alloy deck there, though. So now we do need to work on the stern of the ship. And actually, one thing I wanted to do is add in, finish up our bulkheads by adding in doors. And then just, uh, take blocks, put them on top, and yeah, I think we're good in that regard. Uh, in terms of water air pumps, uh, I am going to jam, I do need to jam an air pump in this section here, but I'm actually going to jam it like here, and then we do need air pumps kind of in these areas. So I'll put one here, one there, one here. And we will need one back there when I get to building that. So now we want a stern to the ship. And unfortunately, well, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where about the uh, water line is. If it's a little too... I mean, we don't have a lot of draft, but I think it'll be okay. So I'll do that. Um, you know what? Odd another uh, transitionary piece here. Offset right. I think this will be a good looking cargo ship. Or repair ship or whatever. I 
and we'll we will arm it a little bit, but it's not going to be heavily armed or anything. All right, so I'm going to do a transition from the two meter to the three meter back here as well. All right, and then we're going to go two meter slope. One thing I should probably do is briefly check the map. So we do have this sector captured for the moment. One thing I could also do is uh, go here. No, wait, no, I can't. I don't have resources in that area. We need to get resources in that area. We need to get this ship built so that I can actually ship resources around into uh, different locations and start actually properly building stuff. All right, so we're going to want to kind of curve the back end of this in a lot, which is what I'm going to do now. So we're going to transition. My thought is transition to maybe a one meter slope here. I'll, go, I'll still go back a couple. And then I'm going to transition to a corner, a corner. And then multiples, or and then a couple straight pieces in a row. This may look a little sudden. It'll hopefully sort itself out. Uh, so the next transition will be uh, one meter to two meter here, and then we'll do a two meter to four meter up top here, and then. Part of me is considering doing that here, but I don't think that's a good idea. So I'll probably want to stick with this slope again. And then, honestly, just do it again. So this is where we're going to be sticking the propellers through, basically. And the propellers are probably going to be stuck through here. Or alternatively, here. Yeah, probably here, more likely. So then... Actually, that's a little annoying to uh, stick it through. Because we can do transitions like that, actually. I probably should do transitions like that. But, unfortunately, I'm going to need an actual Mimic instead. So, skirt writing in a Mimic. Uh, alloy... Um, offset alloy, one meter off, offset left, offset right, okay, and then forward backward position is negative one, I'm gonna copy you, paste you here, and see if switching you to left fixes it, yes it does, look at that, alright, so that means that we can actually get a propeller shaft through here now, cool. Um, and that will be painted in yellow. I will adjust you to kind of a more golden yellow. Maybe a little hard to achieve. Maybe about here. No camo for this color. Uh, so I want to go water. Not water. Um, what do I want to go? Uh... I mean, we're going to use engines, so it is. I could use, you know, propeller circles if I really wanted to for this. Never mind. Uh, we're just going to use normal uh, steam propellers, but with the transmission motors jammed on them. So I will. Uh, first of all, we actually do need to fix or finish uh, the back section, and then I'll be able to jam that on and get back to the thought which I didn't complete. Okay, there we go. Now we go to uh, steam engines and jam a medium transit or a transmission motor. Uh, which way do you go up? I think you go that way, right? Yeah. And now switch to the yellow. Go to a medium two meter sealed shaft. 
wait, no. You gotta go there. You gotta be a medium shaft. You're gonna have to be one of those, and then I'm gonna put a medium, like, three meter propeller. Um, probably one more block back, like there. So, actually, you know what? Why am I doing this? No, we should have a one screw ship. Because that's what merchant ships usually were. Single screw. So, yeah. What kind of superstructure? Probably a uh, standard merchant type superstructure. So yeah, single screw is what we're going for. There you go. That's a single screw. And actually, you know what? What I should do is... Is, this, is it legal for me to do this? Yes, it is. So I can do that. I can't do it here, though. World War II era? Uh, probably earlier, actually. I'm looking more World War One era. Which shouldn't be surprising for me. Because I, I do, for whatever reason, trend more toward... Well, I, I mean, I like World War II stuff, but I trend towards World War One stuff even more. Alright, so this should be... Uh, what? No, two meter? No, not two meter offset. Uh, one to two meter. No. Right? No. I thought that's right. It's not. Maybe a two meter offset will do it. Oh yeah, two meter offset will do it. Same here with World War One era stuff. Yep. All right, so now we actually got something of a working stern. For the moment, um, only the underwater section. We need to build the above water section, and that is definitely going to require uh, continuing to grow it out. So in this case, go to this. Do this. We need a rudder back here. I have actually a standard rudder assembly, so I can just stick that in. Um, you know what? Go to color three. I mean, we're high enough up, though, with the standard rudder assembly that it's actually going to... Um, be stuck through a fairly standard color thing. Although I'll probably leave it as color 2 for the moment and then ring around the edges with the color 3. Although, part of me wants to reduce this to like a 3 meter slope. And then... No, I will do a f eh, 3 meter. And then 2 meter there. And then we'll have the rudder stuck through here. Okay, so what now, what now, what now? Uh, I want to go to uh, prefab mode. Load. Where is it? Where is it? So it's a rudder control mechanism. Yeah, there we go. Rudder control system. And then put the rudder control system right there. Then below this, we put on a sub-object, a spin turn block. Upside down, colored black. And now we color. Well, I'll we'll color the rudder red. Well, I mean, yeah, the rudder will get just get colored red. Uh, so, what I'm actually gonna do is, part of, part of me wants to do like a pole at the top here, but part of me just wants to do the rudder. It is going to be a little tall, though, which is going to be a bit of an issue, so do that. Oh, no, we probably don't want to have the rudder touch the very bottom of... Or if it was in dry dock, we probably don't want to have the rudder touch the very bottom. Um... Uh, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a slope section like that, and then I'm going to do something kind of weird here. Maybe not that. You know what? Yeah, I'll s I will stick with this original design kind of like this. And then on the back side, uh, curve it. Yes, I would like to view this fleet. You are another coffin nail. Annoying, annoying stinkers. Ah, uh, you should go this way. I should be on you. Actually, you know what? Because I have not gotten a successful capture off yet, I'm just going to sit myself right below the coffin nail and hope that uh, my ship immediately knocks it down onto me. Basically. Although I probably want to get a little closer to my ship. Um, but it does seem to kill the coffin nail well in the air. But hopefully, hopefully we can get it so that it doesn't kill the coffin nail and we can actually get a successful capture off and get you know, more resources from having it be a capture. And, you know, put the resources on the battleship, probably. Which, hopefully, should really help things out. There is definitely a thought of uh, not completely killing the Deepwater Guard and trying to use the... Well, you know what? Or trying to use their spawning to... Uh, give me resources, but I'm going to guess that their resources probably come from resource dumps, so it doesn't really matter if I do that. Alright, so... Am I close enough? How far away am I from my ship? Not anywhere near as far as I thought. Definitely closer to the coffin nail now than I was before. You know what I should have done is I should have initially had the ship closer to the coffin nail, got out, swam all the way under it, and then initiated battle. Begin battle. Gunfire on. Where is it? There it is. Because we've been pretty reliably able to kill coffin nails. So. That's a hit. A kill. Oh. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. Is it down? No, it's not. Uh, open fire again. Whoop to my ship. Alright. Let's see, can we drop it? The coffin nails may be a little annoying to drop, to be honest. Because they do have all the propellers. Hold fire. Okay, come on. It's probably going to completely despawn before I get there. Yep. Yep, couldn't even, can't even do that. All right, pull out of play again. How many resources do you have? Sixty-six thousand. Just sit over there still. Oh, okay, that's bad. That's bad. Uh, wait, who is over here? Capture in progress. That's a deep water guard square right now. That's probably getting capped by the Onyx Watch. All right, play them, and yeah, please get on this ship so we can actually get it done. All right, the other thing I need to do is the aft bulkheads. Um, 
also need doors. So like here and here. I assume that's good, right? Yeah. So then I will also add an air pump to this section. That's the forward section. Then I'll have one, add one to the aft section as well. We don't have one in the middle too, so I'll stick one in the middle. So we'll get a little bit of armor in the middle just to protect uh, gun or ammunition and the a or the AI of this ship because it will have at least a little bit of a. Uh, firepower, but not much. It's not something designed to get into combat. And, you know, getting it into combat is just not a good idea in general. But, you know, as a backup, having some anti-aircraft ability might not be a terrible, terrible thing to put on it. Okay. So what do I want to do? So normally get a 2 meter offset going. I think you get a 3 meter offset going here. And probably another one there. Um, so here I'm going to do a 4 meter offset that way. And then here I'm going to do the same. And then we'll kind of try to grow this a bit at the top and Alright, so... Okay, so what I want to do is go to probably, you know what, I will use color 3 on uh, these guys here. So I will actually apply the camo to the underside of this. Oh god, I didn't get the rudder done. Oops. Well, I mean, that is understandable though, because, uh, you know, battle. Uh, we'll do that as the rudder. You know what? The other option is to do like this and then get rid of this section. Which might be a little better. And then on the back end of it, have a little bit something a little more sharp. Like you. And then maybe that and then this. Yeah, that'll work as our rudder. Alright, so now we got the rudder in place. Uh, let's do another lightweight block alloy here. And yeah, we do want this to be 4 meters. Well, actually, you know what? We don't. Because we want to do this. And I wanted you to be color 3. That would be nice. So then, we gotta do this. And then we do this. And you know what? On the top side, I do want to figure out specifically how I'm going to curve it. You know what? I'll curve it one block down here. So that's what I want to do for the stern, right there, in terms of uh, shaping. So then we're going to have to build up to that shape from what we have. Oh, there is some possibility of me uh, deleting a few blocks here and there. Alright, so then... So if I just went with that, I wouldn't be able to even get there, so I... You know what? Let's get rid of you, and then do this. And then I'm actually going to have to stagger. Because it, it's that sharp of an angle.
Or, alternatively, I only stagger this one, and then do not stagger this one. So that it looks... I think this will look a little better if I do this. That should. So one of these needs to be beam 2. And then you can turn into a beam 4. Okay then, cool. So then the other thing I want to do is transitions back here. So I'm going to take this one and turn it into... Or give, get rid of you. No. Okay, can I get rid of you safely? Yes, I can. And probably use it. Nope. Cannot get rid of that piece safely. Why? Oh yeah, because it's connected in a weird way. Um, if I replaced it with a 3 meter beam, I could, though. Alright, so I'm going to do a weird transition here. And that's going to be probably this guy. Back here. Actually, you know what? Let's do the opposite side. So I'm going to start by jamming you there, and then deleting that, putting one down there, and then this can become a 4 meter offset. Like so, and then I think, I'm not able to get rid of this piece yet, but I, am I able to get rid of this piece? No, not, not quite yet. Um, which means I'll probably need to delete that piece. Actually, no, I can, I can keep it in. Even if that becomes a 4 meter offset, I can just do that, and then that. Alright, so now we come to a triangle corner here. Inverted L, triangle corner there. We normally have an inverted L here, but it looks like I gotta do this here instead. Which means that we're probably going to have to get by with a uh, 4 meter offset here instead. Which does work kind of perfectly. And then do that. And then this. And I think we got a stern set up. Is it the greatest thing? No. Um, I'm actually probably going to modify this here to be a little different if I can. Yeah, I think this will work a little better if I do this and then you. There we go. Now we have a stern set up. So it is a l still a little wonky, but, you know, it's decent. I'm going to save the ship. Uh, save vehicle. Uh, I got to go up and to uh, Twitchy Campaign V2. So you are going to be a... Uh, I'll call you Cargo Ship Mark 1. And then we'll need, we'll need names for these ships. If you have any good cargo ship name ideas, throw them at me. Uh, so one thing I want to do is to go into prefabs, load up... Where is it? Let's start with the 4 meter alloy wood slopes. And these are just little uh, prefab options I have for stuff like this. I'm going to switch to the 3 meter alloy wood slope. And then you're going to become a 4 meter alloy wood slope again for this part, and probably this part as well. And now, there we go. Which color is... Okay, so that's paint number four. Paint number four. I'm going to give it a little bit more of a reddish tint again. Maybe a little bit more yellow. Just out so it's a little grayer. That'll be the wood tent on the ship. 
Alright, so... I do want a little bit of metal, but I need to put the AI in first. So I will do an AI mainframe. Uh, probably about here. I should all get rid of that piece. Uh, AI mainframe there. You're going to gain a card slot probably on top for what card? What card do we want? Yeah, routine card. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that. And then should probably have a target prioritization card too. Because you will have a little bit of uh, ammunition hooked up to you. So do something like this. And then add... Yeah, add a bit of general processing to the sides. Like so. And then we can just do a uh, wireless transmitter on a side. Like here. And then I can just do another general AI card over here. But I am going to quickly delete this AI and move it a little bit more forward. Uh, with 2, 3, 4, 5... Height is two, length is one. Or not one, three. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye, AI. And then prefab mode. Hello again, AI. You should probably go here. No, actually, not there. Here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of ammunition back here, just behind the AI, far enough back that we can actually have a tiny bit of a, uh, what is it, a, l a little bit of an armor, a little bit of an armor thing, there, you know, why, why, why have I not been painting these zero, or color zero, so they have a slight they're the same color as the wood for some stupid reason, because I painted them like that. And, uh, yeah, don't, don't ever pretend I'm good at this game. Okay, aside from building cool-looking stuff. But even then, the, you know, this campaign's not exactly up to, you know, up to task on the good-looking stuff. So we'll give it a little bit of an armor belt here. I'll probably have staircases in the forward... I oh, don't know, I'll probably need a staircase back here, actually, thinking about it now. I should probably do staircases down the sides of the... or sides of the ship, and then have a doorway maybe here. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, so let's put the door in. Bulk a door. Yeah, and then... We'll do a bit of armor at the top of this. And you know, this ship isn't designed to get into combat, so this armor is just kind of like a, okay, just on the off chance that something happens here, uh, maybe you can survive. Wait a minute, I need an engine. Oops! I was supposed to put an engine in this base. Uh, yeah. Good job, me. Good job. Uh, Alright, hello there, AI system. You are moving forward an additional block now. Um, and actually, it's going to be a little difficult to walk around the AI, so I'm just going to move the wireless transmitter up here. That'll work. And then... Why do I have you in? And you in? I should probably just have a general processing cards here. And then I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the ammunition. 
move it back an additional block or two. Actually, I'll just put the ammunition right up against the door and only have uh, two things of it there so that then we can jam in an engine over here. And honestly, the engine's not going to be armored. So, yep. Goodbye to this whole pretense. And then in this case, I am going to swap you out for three wide. Blocks. I'll put another three up here. Actually, you know what? Three tall. There, there, and then a two over here. So that is a bit of a bulkhead. Oh, I'm not too concerned if they accidentally blow up the material or the supplies. Um, but I do want to protect uh, these two things a lot. But, you know, I'm not super worried about a shell coming in from this. I'll give it a little bit of additional armor like this so that a shell coming in from a slight angle might not get through. Uh, but now we need an engine. So, uh, yeah, hello there, fuel engines. Uh, fuel engine generator. Actually, engines are probably best uh, made symmetrical. Okay, so that's a doorway. This engine's going to be weird. I'm actually going to put the crankshaft facing upwards. So we're only going to have a single engine. Actually, you know what I might just do is I might just do cylinders like this. And then we can put carburetors between them all. Okay, so we got that. Supercharger increases airflow to the carburetor, allowing materials because more efficient at low RPM. An injector. A modern alternative. Carburetors and forced induction again replaced on the side. Okay, I forget specifically what the injector does. So then you typically get these uh, turbochargers, which uh, actually I think we can put on, yeah. Um, although I don't think we're going to be able to get them with these engines. And actually thinking about it now, the exhaust from this cylinder. You know what? No, we should be fine. Never mind. Because the exhaust from this cylinder here, I can pipe out, you know, this way. The exhaust from this cylinder, I can pipe out that way. And uh, still be okay. And then same down here. Now, that all being said... Supercharger at low RPM. But it's probably going to be steaming at high. I would imagine it would be steaming at high RPM most of the time. So what is this? a pretty simple engine. Uh, I could probably do something actually just similar, you know, engine then cylinder. So why not? You know, rather than this big complicated thing. Alright, so we're going to try the engines again. So to start it off, uh, fuel engines. We're going to start 
with the fuel engine generator facing upwards. Um, probably here. Screw it. And then we're just going to put a cylinder on top. Actually, can this fit on the side? No. So these can fit on the sides of the cylinder. Like there, there. We can do something like this. Actually, wait. What we do is we just put it on top. Like was shown. And then, okay, so carbureted turbocharger. It's the high RPM efficiency. So are you connected? Not connected to a carburetor. Are we wanting these guys? Are you connected to a carburetor now? There you go. That one's connected to a carburetor. So you can have exhaust leave that way. That one can have exhaust leave. Yeah, okay, that'll work. And then if we want to, we can just jam a supercharger at the top, too. Tell about a little bit with the uh, low RPM efficiency. Alright, so now we just gotta vent all the exhaust out. And actually, you know what? What I should do is I should switch some of these to left. So, you know, we get that. Wait, no, are these left? I think they are. Should switch some of them to right, then. So you will be right, and then you will also be right. So that should simplify the exhaust. Alright, and then we just gotta pump it all out. Um, you know, I'm gonna do straight pipe there, straight pipe here. Corner pipe here, corner pipe here, and we're just going to merge them together. Like this. And then the funnel will be up this way. Although that being said, I am going to put a 2 meter in there, and then I have a hull pipe here. And one more thing I might, or I'm considering doing, is a little bit of maybe alloy flooring over here. Actually, I might be better off with uh, alloy flooring here, and just kind of having this as more of a mid-layer on the boat. Now, of course, we do need to put a staircase in, and that's not in yet, obviously. So that'll be put in uh, slightly later. Um, when we get more of the superstructure worked out, I'd imagine. And that'll probably be... Actually, that'll probably be the only way down. So... You know what? I will split the bow into two decks. I will, I will do that. At the very least. But I mean, I won't be doing that for the cargo holds. At all. And then... So we need a staircase here on the bow. Somewhere, probably here. So I'm just gonna stick it in. And then we need one on the stern too. Probably, probably same side. And then normally you'd put stairs on the next layer, but we need to actually get some wood in place to do that. All right, you need an actual uh, bulkhead back here. I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three tall, and then I'm going to do four across like this. 
And then we can do this on both ends, too. And then over here, we just start applying some wood. Do stuff again. Alright, we do that. We do this. You stairs are going up through this block here and this block. So then take that block out, put in a stair. Which is under decorations, yeah. Alright, let's put another stair. Or not another stair, let's uh, just do this quickly over here to recolor them. And then, I mean technically because of this, this area wouldn't need a uh, one of the water things. But if this area does get penetrated, then it loses all of this buoyancy. So I'd rather have the buoyancy up top. So I probably should build like a little alloy plate structure here around the stairs. can actually put in a uh, one of these bulkhead doors and then I'm just gonna take this whole setup here and duplicate it height is three length four five six I'm imagining will work just fine cool so now we have an actual proper staircase well two of them in the ship Alright, stick one down there. And that should be good. Wait, no, that's color three. They need to be color four. Oops. Alright, color four. Come on. Fix that one one little piece I put down. Thank you. Alright, so now we have an actual staircase up to uh, both of the forward and aft sections. I will actually probably have a little hatch there so I can just uh, quickly go up and down if I need to. Um, you know, a little hatch on the deck. Probably, how did they cover their uh, cargo areas, these uh, ships? Actually, normally they have a raised bow and stern, and this one's just kind of flat. So I will probably do something of a raised bow and stern here, too, in just a moment. Uh, yeah, what did I want to put on here? Because I'm already forgetting... Ooh. Well, first of all, we can do more wood. Oh yeah, I wanted to put a uh, water thing in here. Actually, no, we can't. Um, yeah, water air pump. There you go. Cool. Air pump there. And then an air pump over here somewhere, too. So that those two sections can also pump out air. And then we are going to need an air pump up here, which I will just put on top of the uh, AI section. And then over in here, we do need a staircase down. Or, yeah. Yeah, just a, stair just a staircase down will do it. Uh, and then, you know what I can do is I can just put one of these in for the staircase. And then kind of have that decide the location. So, that be a good location. Now that's above the armor. I mean, that would technically work, but it w won't really allow you to uh, get around the ship at all. I'd imagine. I almost need to build it on, like, one of the sides here, which I think was the original plan. So yeah, let's just build it on both sides, then. So will this work? Probably here, I'd imagine. 
Maybe here just to be safe. Alright, so then we do this. And yeah, now add in the all the stairs. So stair stacked. Wait, no. Wrong location. Actually no, we could just do normal stairs. Is that good? I think so, just barely. Although I don't know, it might be good to bring this forward a block. And then delete you. And then all of you. Then you and you. And then you guys. I'll actually move it as far forward as I can. Which is there. And then put on a lightweight alloy beam of two here. And now, actually I think we want, what, two back here? Two? And now we can add in the stairs. So, bam, 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 bam. This does mean I need an additional air pump back here. But that should allow for actual, you know, moving around the ship. We do have a bit of a bulkhead here, which needs to be placed in. I will do a metal bulkhead door there too. All right. So that is the center area of the ship done. Let's put on some of the decking. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. And then you will just be a set of two meter. All right, crap. Uh, yeah, this top layer has to be removed. And then technically, I'm gonna put a structure on top of here. And actually, you know what? Let's if we're gonna do a structure on top of here, let's just do this then, so we can actually kind of see down into the hold. Okay, there we go. So here is the main deck going in. Then I will have to add in a staircase over there. So in this case we do one beam three through there. And then, yeah, we'll have another set of two over here. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, because you. And then... Do this, and... I mean, that should be the main deck done. Of course, there will need to be some additional edits to the vessel. Such as... Uh, bringing the bow up here an additional block. Wait, no. Color 3. Alright, cool. Is this 2? That's 2. And then you are 3. And then you are 4. We do raise it at the uh, forecastle and stern. And actually, I can edit you guys to be 4 meter uh, slopes. And edit you guys here to be, yeah, again, 4 meter slopes. And actually, I probably do want to try to get it up another uh, block if I can. Or I could just do this and, you know, accept it for what it is, which I will probably just do. 
So it is technically a flat decked uh, vessel, but, you know, the raised ends do exist, at least to an extent. Which does kind of help pin down the aesthetic a little better. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So, we want hatches. Simply put, we want hatches. Hatches are, I believe, in decorations. Yeah. So, we want a hatch somewhere in the bow, and we want one in the stern. And I think the one in the bow is going to go somewhere in the two-block uh, section. Probably about there. And then the one in the stern is going to go probably about here. And then these hatches are just something so that uh, I can jump through them easily. She I'll, I'll move it a little more this way so it's a little closer. Uh, closer to the superstructure. Alright, so we got that in. Part of me wants to go allied, or not allied, uh, alloy plates for a lot of this, which I might do. Maybe we'll do like a lightweight alloy. No, I think I should go alloy plates because they'll be cheaper. And then. Actually, you know what? Why am I not doing this? I have another thought here instead. That's that we just do this. Then over in the front, uh, we can actually do. S you know what? I'm gonna get rid of these for actual slopes. Like that. I'll do those up front too. And then I'll do those in the back as well. Much as a long time ago, and now I saw it on sale, so we were thinking about getting it. Yeah, it's a good game. I I would recommend From the Depths, definitely. Um, this is a game I very much do enjoy. Of course, I'm not very much playing it meta here, but, you know, it's fine if you don't play it meta. At least I tell that to myself. So I'm going to have actually hatches on these sections as well, so we can kind of look into the cargo bay. There we go, we got hatches. And then I'm just going to duplicate this whole section here. Uh, with five... Or Seven. I'm actually going to move it a block down. Just to recapture the inside blocks, too. So we want it there. Missile silo? Nope, just a cargo bay. This is just a cargo vessel. Small one. Uh, okay, so I want to do the superstructure, and then once we get the superstructure done, we can put in the... Uh, actual other stuff. We should probably have cranes on top of the cargo sections, and I actually have some cranes in my sub-objects menu, so... Yeah. Could do the aircraft crane for British Columbia. Which, I'll have to see how that looks here. Too big. Way too big. 
Uh, maybe just the normal crane, British Columbia. Not bad, not bad. Actually, you know what? Might be better served going here. And here or something. Ooh, there. Actually, you know, I'll just move my hatch location. On both the fore and the... You know, both the bow and the stern. I think these are a little big. Just slightly too big. Although I do want one located probably here. And another one located probably about here. Maybe like maybe I'll just do two on the sides like this. Though you know. Do kinda wanna do that uh that look I was thinking about. I mean, this will have to be a very small boat, though. So, okay, so if we do two here, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'll move them up a block, probably. But no, we need... We do need the uh, whole bridge structure. We could place them on the sides here. But now they're kind of interfering with each other. I need smaller cranes. Sub-objects mode. What other cranes do I have? I, prob I think I have some in here. Right. Big crane, St. Lawrence. This is St. Lawrence's big crane. Yeah, no. Maybe I have a small crane somewhere. Okay. Something called a small crane? No, I don't. All right, let's let's add in the British Columbia cranes again. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll uh, do like a pair of them. Mounted more there, and then an additional pair mounted more here. Yeah, that'll work. And then I can actually uh, put the hatches back close to where I had them. Yeah, I'll put that one there. Hey, nuclear, how's it going? Uh, you can very clearly tell what I am streaming today. Well, as my second stream today. I did some of the popular game Among Us earlier, too. Because it's good fun with friends. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we got that done. I'm just going to leave the same color for the super... Actually, normally I use color 5 for the superstructure, so I will just use color 5 for the superstructure here, too. It means I can also change its color. Just about to head to bed. Aww. Oh, a little too late for the stream, then I take it. Yeah. Alright. Well, have a good night, then. Okay, we can do something like that, and then kind of build the superstructure up here. So, let's see. How do I want to do this? So, I probably want... I'm going to need at least a little bit of deck there. So, I probably want to do something like this. For the lower layer. So, what did you miss? 
Uh, we fought a little bit of, or a couple of deep water guard ships. Um, nothing, nothing too, nothing too major. Actually, I'm gonna curve it slightly, which means that I'm gonna need. I would say I'd normally have the, um, what is it, the door there, but I'm actually gonna put the doors on the sides now. About there. And you know, just laying down a cargo ship right now. Alright. So any enemy recon flying near you? Not at the moment. Okay, you know what? How how do these cargo ships look? You know what? Yeah, normally you do get a uh, bit of a layer here. So I will do this then. Uh, yeah. Okay, you know what? I need the staircase. I need I need a uh, staircase going deeper down into the ship about here. And I will have to place it in. Okay, stairs. You know what, in this regard, I'm just going to do it like this. And then I'll do stack stairs there and the normal stairs here. And I'll get you down a level. And then over on the other side here, uh, so I need to go up to here. So then we just need to do this, basically. And we'll be good. Although... Even though I might do that, I might move it uh, in a block. Uh, back a block, like... Yeah, here. Here's where I'll do it. And then... Let's put a slope there. So if I go into this menu, it will pause. Um, so normally this is just kind of a bit of a uh, extra bridge feature to the side. So that's exactly how we're going to treat it. And um, we need a couple of poles. And what I'm probably just going to do instead is going to like steam engines. I want to use a shaft like that for it, but thinking about it now, that is really expensive. I might use actually piping. Because that'll look good and it's not that expensive. And I can use alloy plating here. Wish I could have a nice staircase up to the bridge, but it looks like I'm just not going to be in a good position to do so. And then I'm going to have to stretch out probably one of these sloped alloy plates along here just to get anything. Uh, which that'll be simple to do. And then we do need some of this back here. Alright, cool. Okay, so you, so the funnel needs to go in here. And the funnel's just going to be a simple thing like this. Uh, I will do that there. I will do that there. Let's uh, bring the exhaust up through here. Alright, there we go. Exhaust is up. Uh, actually, I'm going to switch this one to a 3 meter pipe. And then, in color 6, I'm just going to adjust it to nothing. But I'll put the alpha high. Not enable camouflage. Put a hull pipe there uh, for color 7. 
which is normally a color I will use for additional things. Um, you'll just kind of go to a gray. A dark gray. Not quite a black. Do not apply camouflage for this color. Alright, and then... Oh, come on. There we go, that'll be better. Right? It's not dark enough. You know what, I'm just gonna paint you in color 6. Screw it. That'll look good enough. Alright, so then I want to switch back to probably color 5 for the superstructure. Are you all color... F no, you're all color 3 for some reason. Apply negative one on both of you, so that you're both about the same. So on you, I did three as well, and I really should have done five, because if I want to keep this all consistent, then being at five means that I can just change the color of the superstructure very easily. Okay. And then you also need to be changed. And I think that's good. Yeah, that is probably everything. Okay, cool. So now we need a bridge. Nice little bridge. Uh, hmm, how do I want to handle this? I look at an older cargo ship. Hmm. Actually, gonna do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I want to handle this specifically. Will this be heavily heavily armored? No, no, it's not heavily armored. <laughs> Why would it be heavily armored? It's a cargo ship. Well, technically it's a repair ship, but... Um... That's like... You don't armor those heavily at all. It will not be heavily armored in the slightest. So, I could use alloy port portholes like this. Which actually do look nice in this one specific situation, so I will. Um, I was also considering using mimics, but... I think I'll just stick with the portholes here. We just probably should get some portholes on the sides at points, but uh, who cares? And then it will also get an additional uh, top layer bridge, uh, not bridge, uh, superstructure. Okay, so one issue is this staircase here is not in a good location, I've just realized. So I'm going to move its location. And its location will now start about here and then go up here with stacked stairs and then normally I do here but I'm half considering not doing that due to the shape of this or just how this bridge is structured like normally this would work fine but uh, I need to get really clever with uh, how I do uh, like the, uh, what are they, what are they called again? Plates. Here, and I don't think I'm ready to do that exactly, so I'm gonna need to curve the staircase. How fun is that? So with that approach, I'll start the staircase here, put an alloy plate here. Will this work? I think it'll work, right? Because then here 
in here. No, that won't work. Because we need to do two stairs alloy plate, then stairs. Stair one. Stair two. Alloy plate. And then stair three would be on the back side of that. But let's start first by... putting another layer of this down. So bam, uh, bam, and a bam. And place you with that. Okay, cool. We're good. And then now, Next stair would go this way, so I'm imagining that we're going to get probably this. Let's just get this uh, layer done. Actually, no, you shouldn't be in place. Actually, you are going to be removed temporarily. You're going to be replaced with that, and then you are going to be replaced with a slope like this. So the stairs are a little easier to traverse. And then, at this point, I can actually finally add in the final staircase, which will be here, going backwards. Uh, okay. So then I guess I am kind of build, forced to now build the bridge around the funnel a bit. So our bridge will now look like this. And then I can just do that. And then do that there. And actually, you know what? Um, actually, you know what? As much as I wanted to do this, I do kind of have to jump over anything to get to anywhere. Uh, although, I could get really clever about it and not have to by just adding in a second set of doors back here. Like that. And then I actually want to take a look at other stuff. Because, yeah, typically you wind up with a second additional bridge structure on top of this, which uh, this ship will indeed have. So then, that one will once again go out to the side, like so. And for now, I will start by building it like this. Although, as much as I am doing this, I am probably going to get rid of that section for both those guys for this so I can put in a staircase here actually probably a ladder let's be real and three three and yeah that's gonna look like a cargo ship Okay, so alloy plates here, here, here. Go up another layer. Do the same here. And then do that all here. That's going to be an annoying piece to get in. Because I am going to need to use a mimic for that. And actually, I'll probably have to use a mimic down here for it as well. And then if we want, if I want to get up here via a ladder, I should probably put one in too, back here. So we're going to need a couple of mimics, unfortunately. I will put in some railings, just normal railings. I'll do that. I think we need a diagonal four. 
Oh, not diagonals. Well, not sl slope diagonal, just normal diagonal four. There we go. And then I'm probably going to need a railing straight to here. And then we have that one little annoying block, which I'm going to actually delete that and put in a mimic. Because technically this is functional at this point, but it's not pretty. So, uh... Actually, you know what? Let's, let's arrange the alloy plate at the right angle. That's the right angle. And now, we add in a mimic. Um, alloy plate. Uh, up, no. Zero, is it left, right? Yeah, it's left, right. Uh, so, negative 0.5. And then left right scaling will need to be two. Actually, wait, no. Hold on. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. And the mimic. Actually, you know what? Railing. If I had a, have a railing straight in, you need to be that way. There we go. Railing. It's a one meter. There you go. Control C. Control V. Okay, and then on this side, I also need to mimic here, and then you are going to be, um... Wait, no. So I think this is the way I want the mimic. Uh, alloy plate. I want it the other way. Alloy plate. So left, right will be neg or yeah, will be that. Given that this is also um, also you know jutting out slightly because of the mimics, I will do this. So then we do the left, right scaling up to two and the forward, backward scaling up to two, and that covers that whole section. It makes it look very pretty, and. I can just copy it over there, change one of you from a negative to a positive, and be good. Alright, so now the next thing I need to do is... Sloped angle plate, I will put the mimic here. Uh, okay, alloy plate slope. Alright, so you need... that needs to be normal. Actually, that needs to be... two. you need to be... 0.5. And then... another one of these blocks, I think it's you, needs to be 4. And your forward-backward positioning needs to be probably about 1.6. So, control C, control V, uh, negative, and then do that here too. Control V, Control V, negative. And there we go, we have a bit of a cargo vessel. Um, the last thing I want to do is probably add alloy plates here. Oh, wait, I forgot fuel tanks. I am an idiot. <coughs> yeah, fuel tanks. Oops. Where are fuel tanks? Um, resources, yes. So you need fuel storage boxes, probably. So fuel tanks, your fuel tanks would go probably, you know, maybe not fuel storage boxes, fuel beam boxes. You know, what? I'm going to get rid of that guy and then just fill this whole area up with fuel beam boxes. So the whole under the staircase area here is just going to be fuel beam boxes. So that's some efficient use of space. And then we can also have our fuel stashed over here. I think this will actually work. Okay. I don't know how relations just changed. 
Wait, I'm supposed to be over here. Yeah, okay, there we go. There's the beams. And that'll work, I imagine. Yeah. That should provide her with enough fuel. Okay, back to color five. I need to do... I need to do something with particles, yes. Uh, that is... A uh, smoke generator. There's a smoke generator. Uh, there we go. And then you are just going to be jammed. Probably this way. And then I can just edit it. So that it's uh, doing the right thing. And then... Because it is weirdly on the outside, I am just going to place a block there to cover it up. Okay, so now what I want you to do is speed is virtually nothing. However, gravity is going to very much defy gravity. Lifetime is going to be 10 seconds. Um, smoke is going to be blacker. Particle size will be higher. I'll set you to maybe that value. Set you to a smaller size. But yeah, there we go. Nice big, thick, black smoke plume. Although it is a little tall. It is coming out a little too quickly upwards. So can I set the speed to zero? No, I can't. I mean, that'll work. That'll work well enough. I am going to just put a couple of guns on the ship real quickly. So in terms of... Okay, actually, if I am going to put a couple guns on the ship, we do actually need some fire control... Or uh, some sort of fire control system on the ship. And the best way to do that is probably going to be... Here's my thought. Is... I'm going to use just two camera detectors on these sides. So these will be good spotting components and detecting components. Uh, so, wireless receiver, and actually, I will do something else here, too. Which, thankfully, will not be visible on the outside, so that's good. Uh, this will be an additional set of telescope trackers. So you can't see forwards or right. Can you find stuff? Ah, uh, no. You're actually going to suck. So I'll just use the cameras. I think the cameras are good enough. For uh, detection purposes, I probably do want to have. I would say I want to have some sort of staircase up there. I probably actually don't think about it more now. Um, part of me which wants to. Well, first of all, I can use this here. I want to put a plate here, but I don't think I can get away with it. So I am, however, going to put a. Uh, what is it? It's under control. A chair. Chair is going to go probably there. And then. So we have the chair. Yeah. Uh, I probably want a ship's wheel, but I'm actually going to put the ship's wheel a deck down. This is something I very conventionally do, or typically do. So I'll put a ship's wheel and I'll put a fire control computer there so I can control everything from that spot if I need to. And then. Well, we're going to need a flag post on the stern, but I do want a couple of weapons mounted on the bow and stern of the ship. So, 
Oh yeah, since this is a repair ship, there is one thing I need to do. Uh, is it in resources? No, it is not in resources. Is it in miscellaneous? Yes, compact repair tentacles. The ship's gonna need some of these. Party wants to do them like this, but no. In terms of location for the compact repair tentacles, part of me thinking maybe like here. So now this ship can, in fact, construct a base. Which is going to be needed, or going to come in handy. So anyone have any good name ideas for the ship? As I uh, jam any, or jam the weapons on it. Uh, okay, so for the... For the weapons, I'm going to need a local weapon controller probably about here with a failsafe and a uh, wireless receiver. And then alloy pole here and here. I'm going to want probably that. Actually, you know what? No. Gonna get rid of the ally poles. I'll do this. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, we'll do this, this, and then that to the side. We'll do one over here, and then I will do stairs up to here as well. Like there. All right, we can do this. Unfortunately, it's not something I can really walk under, which probably would be necessary for any elevated weapon platform forward. Um, hmm. I want to reconsider that then. Okay. Yeah, I'm reconsidering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a alloy pole here, and then we're going to have our good old local weapon controller mounted here with a failsafe on one end and a wire, you know, a wireless receiver on the back end, failsafe on the front end. Uh, all this will actually receive a little bit of an alloy plate just kind of around it and this is more of a uh, you know just it can absorb a single shot sort of thing before breaking so that is kind of very cheap armor all right so if we do this again and then once again do the stairs about here here and here and then we can put in our slope. Our next slope. Oh my god, our base is actually now full of uh, resources. That is interesting. That is interesting. Alright, so... Ah, oh, this is actually a little, little tall. So I'm not going to have this in place then. I think what's happening is I'm not building this too well. SS Depot? Maybe. Not bad. Um... There are a lot worse names people can suggest. We can do something like that. <sighs> I really should have some sort of blast shield around it, but I think the blast shield just gets too high at this point. 
Ah. Uh, I mean, the if it's a repair and construction ship, we could go along with uh, something what the U.S. has named their uh, repair and construction ship. So, repair ship U.S. So, U.S. had ships, what? Okay, so early ones were like Medusa, Bridgeport, Prometheus, Vestal, Vulcan, Ajax. Interesting. Interesting choices. And then depot ships are massively, massively different. Alright, uh, so we got that in, in terms of an actual weapon on the ship. I'm going to put in an actual custom weapon. Well, not quite custom weapon. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It is somewhere up here, right? Hey, Sampa. How's it going? I'm doing a bit of a... From the depth. It's actually my birthday now, so uh, yeah, it's ticked past 12. Um... Building AMC, more a, uh, uh, what is it, depot ship, this is Bert then, yeah, triple anti-aircraft gun, like, uh, yeah, Tri triple, uh, what is that, That's, those are what, 60 millimeter guns, I believe, yeah, because that's just a stop, or a simple weapon mounted on a turret, with a bit of, uh, armor applied to it. I've been playing a bit of the original Call of Duty. I think I've heard. Uh, width should be... No, width... Yeah, width should be three. I have some extra blocks on the side of it by accident. Because I can give me some resources back with these. Then put you on the... Aft end of the ship. Bow. Would here work? Yeah, there would work. And then we can put another one of these uh, 60 millimeters on here. And now our little uh, cargo ship should actually be armed. But, so in terms of the AI, I do need to set some stuff up. So AI routine card, act behavior, uh, naval. Enter broadside. So we could do that. Yeah, I'll just do naval. Alright, there is probably one more thing I should stick on this ship before it's done. And that is, uh... Additional... What are they? Additional, like, side thrusters so that she can uh, rotate in place and such. Um, so I'm gonna add, like, a pair on the bow and a pair on the stern. And I need to find another block. I think it's an air... Is it an air... No, it's in blocks, right? Right? No. Is it in air? Yeah, ducts. There we go. And what ducts allow... Basically what ducts allow is they allow... Um, a... Uh, you can basically place it down. It functions as a block. However, it allows air or water to pass through it. So we have a duct there. And then what we do is... We do something like this, to make it look nice, of course, and stick a propeller in here. So a side-mounted propeller like that, and that gives the ship a little bit of steering. And I'm going to stick one of those in the rear here, too. Probably about here. Do that. And then put in the duck, or duct. Put in the duck. Yes, we're just we're we're gonna jam a tactical duck on our ship, because that's a good idea. Quack. Um, okay, that should be good. Uh, let me save the vehicle. Cargo. Right now it's just cargo ship Mark One. Um, I should probably change the name to uh, whatever it's actually gonna be called. Uh. It's actually repair ship, so 
Yeah, but you know, it's a repair, supply ship, whatever. Um, ooh, what what will it actually? What will she actually be called? Hmm. Like what's a good, what's a good name for something which just carries stuff and builds stuff? Maybe some species of ant. I don't know. Ah, uh, probably not. Um. Screw it. Uh, no, I don't want to name her that. Hold on, what was a Vestal named after? Because I know that that one's kind of famous for being at Pearl Harbor. Eerie. I need a good name set for these ships, and it's going to be a little uh, difficult. HMS Resource was a British repair ship. That's that's actually a good name. Maybe resourceful. I'll name her. I'll name her uh, TNS. Uh, I'll name her the resourceful class. Um, repair cargo ships. And now save the vehicle again as TNS resourceful. Um, so I'll call her CC1. In this case, so CC will stand for a cargo ship. Or maybe maybe not car. Um, technically she would be what? If she's a repair ship, she'd be an AR. Um, I'll do the car. I'll do CR for. I'll, I'll just... Yeah, no, I'll do CC. No. CR. So do CC for cargo, CR for um, this sort of thing, and probably C will just be cruiser. Actually, you know what? No. I'm not going to save her as that. I'm going to save her as TR, which is going to be a little better, I think. You know, that's a little bit more uh, Rule of Waves 2 related. Porter is like a destroyer name and named after a person, so no. Uh, deactivate the tractor beam. Uh, warp to this force. Well, on the map, she does need to appear as a different vessel. Yeah. So... You are going to need to give Resourceful a lot of your stuff. No, keep normal. Alright, so that's a lot of material on uh, Resourceful there. So, first of all, this is bad. You need to capture there again. Second of all, uh, resourceful, I think it's time for you to move out. Cargo. So you are going to go this. Actually, you know what? You will be keep little material at the moment. We keep very little. Will that help? Yeah. So I don't want to bring all my material with me. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'll do fill to 10%. Maybe fill to 5%. That'll work. No, you are going to go over to here. Can you move? You have an engine, right? You have a working engine, right? But 
two working engines, correct? Yeah, you can move. Alright, her uh, rudder will not steer, so I should probably make sure that it does. We still have a long way to go to get there, though. Because what will happen is these, when placed, apparently just don't like doing stuff. Reset to 15. Reset it to 0 and also change that back to 3. I think if I just mess with these again, it'll be fine. Correct? Am I correct on that statement? Okay, we're able to get to about 13 meters per second. I should not play it again. I need to save you. No, I'm going to save you as the resourceful class repair ship, and then save the vehicle as you again. Whose construct name? You know what? Go that way first. And then move there. I want to be with you as you uh, recapture this square. Alright. We're probably going to get into combat here again soon. And then I am going to have to build a fortress down here. With all the resources I'm bringing over. God, the Onyx Watch is actually properly encroaching into my territory now. Well, not my territory, but Deepwater Guard's territory in this area. So although they're technically allied, it is going to be a little annoying. But it looks like, yeah, they've been having a lot of fights around here. Might be good to just try to sneak into the territory, grab a little bit of resources and sneak out, but no, that's probably dumb. I'll just say keep no energy at all. Okay, so once the capture progress is done... Let's look around. Probably more focusing on, like, squares like this one. Might be smart to just go in and try to get this square, too. Pull back, pull back. You gotta go this way. You gotta pull, you gotta hold back a little, a little bit. They're trying to get the resource zone back. That is a scuttle gun. Alright, conquer. Engage. Alright, so what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to start by moving over here. 
teleporting onto you. See what the scuttle gun does. Um, jump off. Oh, no. Jump off. Move the ship over here. Teleport back to the ship. Put it there. Jump. I'm gonna glitch stuff out. I'm glitched out. Okay. All right, begin the battle. Am I paused? I don't know if Levin's paused. You need to fire your weapons. Okay, so there's the scuttle gun. I'm gonna order you to stop firing your weapons given how much you were damaging that thing and how far away it is. And I wanna get a successful capture off if possible. First of all, that thing, it already looks like it's listing. There's the battleship. But I actually have not done a capture yet this campaign of any uh, vehicle. I've had to uh, sink them all, and I would like to get a nice uh, resource bonus from actually capturing a vehicle. I need to get like a uh, proper speedboat or something so I can do this and uh, like put them on a crane on board my ship. So that might be a modernization for her. Alright, um, I'm going to order you to open fire again. I'm going to order you to hold fire again. So you can do a little bit more damage. Which way is the scuttle gun going? Is it going away? I imagine it would want to go towards given how long range the engagement is. Let's see, how much damage do those two cram shells do if they hit? Do they hit? They missed. You are permitted to open fire again. With the intention of disabling those crams. I will order you to hold fire again. Wow! We actually just killed it with that. They're scuttling their ships really easily. Pull from play, move over here, grab the enemy salvage. Receiving. And you just gotta be over here. Alright, and then you gotta go up here. And actually probably more over here-ish. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna pull, put you in play. And we need an actual fortress now. And this will probably be the last thing I build is this uh, resource fortress. And it'll just be, you know, a bog standard resource fortress sort of thing. Okay, so. What do we want? To do? Okay, so build a new blueprints fortress. Go over this way and I'll start by building it probably 
about here. Wait, what? Why are you upside down? Why? Also, why did you give supplies to these guys? Or did you take supplies from them? Because these guys should have, like, no supplies right now. Thank you for those 32 supplies back. Alright, so... Let's try this again. Uh, new... Not new sub-object. Just a new blueprint in general. So start the fortress over here. We can then move it into the correct location. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we have an actual fortress here. So I will want... First thing is it needs an engine. So in terms of... Engines, um... I'm gonna go with the simple one. Relatively simple one. So we're gonna start with an engine generator there. Probably two crankshafts on top of it. Maybe three. And then... I mean, this is just gonna be a very simple base for the moment. Um, I'll do cylinders like this. Actually, you know what? I will just... No, no, I'll do this. And then carburetor there and there. Uh, I will stick an additional cylinder here. And carburetor, 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 carburetor. And if I need to, I can just jam more of these engines on in the future. And then actually, you know what, just stick a bunch down here too. And then, hello there superchargers! Yeah, I do need to add more fuel tanks. To this. Yeah, this is just going to be a big mass of superchargers. Like so. Alright, and then now we can just pipe all the exhaust out. Well, temporarily, I'll just do this. And then we'll pipe all the exhaust out in a moment. But it does need fuel. So, resource-wise, it does definitely need fuel. So I'll do something like this for its fuel. Actually, you know what? Fuel should probably be down like this. This is a little bit stronger of an engine than I anticipated, I will say. Uh, okay, so now that we have that in place, um, you as the fortress should definitely receive some material. And then... Alright, so then... So we have this central engine. Uh, let's let's just pump all the fuel up. I don't care particularly about where it gets to. I mean, right now this is just going to be very temporary, and we're probably going to need to use the battleship to protect it. Until we can get a second battleship or a cruiser or something. And right now, it's just not going to be pretty. And eventually, we'll make it pretty. But not today. I need this base up and operational more than anything. Mm 
Alright, there we go. We are now piping the exhaust from all the cylinders out. We'll give it a wood floor. Actually. I'll do this. Alright, and then after this, now we can add some additional... Uh, what is it? I'm trying to remember. It's... Is there a fortress one? Oh yeah, Sky Fortress Turbines, yep. Each is capable of carrying a certain weight with an economical power consumption. If you don't have enough, expect them to be extremely power hungry. If you cannot power them, the fortress will start to disintegrate. Okay. So I'm going to do these uh, kind of pairs like this. Um, so it is saying power and reserve. I am wondering if I can increase that with some additional uh, batteries. I probably can. We'll admit, though, I'm not really thinking about defending this very much. Oh, yeah, not connected. Okay. Yeah, you need to be connected to an electric engine. All right. In this regard, I will just kind of build the fortress out. I might build it more into, like, this sort of shape. For the moment. Right. And then, doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. Alright, uh, so we got that all, so we have sort of an engine there. Uh, I will probably want some ability to repair ships on here, but I need to get some resource storage first. So, yeah, cargo containers, cargo containers in the rear, screw it. There's the resource storage, I will now wind up putting more Sky Fortress turbines on it. How good? Yeah, it's not good enough anymore. So I'll do... Power, use, power dropper frames going down. Wait, no, I want to shift this over. There you go. Less power use. Okay, so we got that in place. Um, all back there. We are, I am going to need a mainframe AI just so that you can move around. I forgot to put a flag on the cargo ship. Oops. That's probably committing a war crime. Um, all right. Bad behavior. Um, I'll just add a resource gathering to it. Add fortress maneuver. Oh, I forgot to add a uh, ship maneuver to the ship. Okay. Now, hopefully that should just allow you to move somewhat. Uh, you are also going to need a strategic antenna so we can't actually see 
a uh, bunch of stuff over this way. Uh, let's add in some resource gatherers as well, which are where? Here. So primarily the use of this ugly thing is going to be dependent on me actually being good at the game. Okay. Uh, so we got that. We need a fortress controller. And a chair. Hello there, chair. Uh, hello there, fortress controller. Now you need to go over there. Uh, other than that, uh, is there anything else I need on you? Like, desperately need on you? I probably want... If I'm going to use you to repair ships... Well, okay, first of all, I should probably put a couple repair bots on you just in case. Um, but I should also probably put some compact repair tentacles. Like that. Cool. Alright, so you... As in... Control yours. Form up and fly with fleet. Moving out. Okay. You are a creator. Alright, so I'm gonna go to you, and I am gonna edit you a little bit, so... I knew I was forgetting a couple of things on this ship. Actually, I forgot a mast. Good job, me. I should probably add a mast in here. Uh, so, in, in regards to this ship getting a mast, it's probably just going to be an uh, alloy mast like this. And then we can do couple of uh, these guys out to the side. Maybe here. I mean, that'll work well enough. Oh, I forgot. I know what I forgot to put on the fortress now. Um, I forgot to put uh, radar thing. You know what? Now that mask looks ugly. Um... All right, it's Mimic time. Hello there, Mimics. So I'm just going to place one of these down. Alloy pole, one meter. Uh, pitch it up, set that to zero. And honestly, I'm set you to about 0.75 scaling. I know I'm going to do 0.5 scaling. And then just prefab you. Alright, there we go. And then I'll add some prefabs on the side here. But instead, these ones will be... Maybe three for forward-backward scaling, and then... Uh, which one is up-down positioning? Yeah, and then I should just be able to copy and paste this over. Control C, Control V. And I will actually jam the flag on the back end of the freighter. So, or the ship or whatever. So, that, we need an AI. Um, we need an AI connector. I'll just make this simple. So, connector here. Uh, wireless receiver. You know what? I'm actually going to stick the wireless receiver down here. And then... I'm just... I'm just going to jam this as a color 3 here. I don't want that on my bar. Okay. And then I'm just going to do this. Actually, I'll do this. Uh, 
Okay, and then after this, we can just go in here, uh, go to our flag post, and put one in. That is not waving a <laughs> good way, but okay. And then... Save the vehicle. Save as that. Save the vehicle again as a TNS resourceful. Um... I'm gonna pull you out of play. I'm gonna grab you. And then I'm gonna add in a uh, detector thing on you. Probably above, like, the AI and stuff. Like this. This is so not pretty. And I am so sorry, everyone, for this not being pretty. We'll fix it up later. Uh, I will eventually turn, like, the fortresses into proper dockyards, but right now, we just need resources. I had to go for a little bit. The ship? Yeah, the ship, the cargo ship looks really nice. This fortress does not. This fortress is the opposite of nice. Um, Alright, so, add a spin block. I will say continuous spin. No. Your resting eel is going to be zero. Spin rate control. We'll do a nice slow spin like this. Just a couple alloy plates up, and then we will build the uh, actual radar dish. Oh, crap. That's a bad sign. That's a really bad sign. Hey, Conqueror, you want to deal with that? <laughs> now that I'm actually getting uh, resources out of this area. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to real quickly go to miscellaneous... No, not decorations. Actually, AI. Strategic antenna. Save this vehicle as the um, second, or what? What is it? I'll, I'll, for now, call it the second fortress. Move you. Yes, I would like to move or consider that for a moment. Pause the game. Pull you out of play. Conqueror is going to need to engage these guys. So that is a Snapjaw, that is a Kalmar, that is a Marlin, that is a Pequod. So the Pequod's technically a submarine. So you're going to need to be here. So F11 is pause, right? Okay, prepare for battle is enabled. So the Marlin is flying. So the annoying part about this is that we're going to get... They're sending a lot of forces at us. Basically. And I don't, I don't want to drag their other forces in yet. I want to do this one at a time if possible. So Marlin first... 
Since I do not feel confident. Well, I mean, we'll probably take it down. And I, want, I do want to swim over to it somewhat. Actually, you know what? I'm over there. Let's just place my flagship over here. Actually, you know what? Uh, let me teleport to it. Alright, we got that other stupid fortress, which I need to scrap. Alright, so this gets me as close as I can to the Marlin. Uh, I want my ship to hold back as far as it can. Actually, if you go here... Should allow you to hold back as much as possible. And then that puts the Marlin over there. So I'm going to say... Begin battle. Weapons on. Okay, come on. Go back up to the surface, Rambot. It's shooting at us. We're shooting at it. Oh, this is bad. This one's actually bad. But, look. I have a... I can provide gunfire support, too. Am I landing any hits on it? Oh god, it is seriously wrecking my ship. Warp back. Is it? Ah, uh, it's not as bad as I thought. Forward gun's damaged, definitely. Oh, it has shields. That's annoying. Okay. Seriously, get our aft guns involved. Please. Oh, that's a good hit. That's a good hit. It is falling somewhat. It has lost a gun. Nice. Nice hit. That's a kill. Deep Water Guard airships are cool. Yes, they are. That's a kill. Oh my, thank God. Alright. Pull out of play for the moment. Repair her quickly. We have... Three more fleets. So, Pequod, a Calmer, and a Snapjaw. And we actually do have some sighting range here due to the fortress now. Which isn't as good as this fortress, so I think I need to improve it, it even further. Are you fixed? I think you're fixed. Uh, Conquer, time to go out. Actually, you know what? Engage these two. So, I know one of them's a sub. And one of them's a boat. So let's initially... This will actually be an attempted capture of either of these vessels. Um, so in this case, I am here. They're over there. I'll try... How many resources are each of them? I'll try boarding the Pequod. Even though, oh, even though it's less resources, because it's technically a sub. Um... Try boarding it. I'll move my ship back. And, uh, yeah. Try boarding the Pequod. I think my ship will target the Calmer. Um, so if I can get on board the Pequod and, uh, take out its AI from on board, then that would be good. Now your ship is complete. Things just got easier. Ugh. Not yet. Not yet. I, I feel like I need another couple ships before things actually do truthfully start getting easier. Hopefully, though, we can get a second, uh, battleship here. You know, maybe even today, if I can if I can capture one of these, I think we'll be there. Um, so yeah. I will go over to the Pequod. Let's uh pull my ship back over here. Uh 
Okay. And yeah, I will be attempting to board the Pequod when the battle starts. Or shortly after the battle starts, I will try to get on board and see what I can do. And hope that uh, I can fight these two ships at the same time. It is also possible, though, that uh, we only engage one at a time. But, you know, the battleship did hold up much better than I expected against the Marlin. Like, I, I was like, oh god, um, we're losing a lot of points. What's going on here? I go to my ship. Some of the deck and sides taken out, but, like, all the weapons are fine. But it's like, okay, fine. My armor scheme's actually working somehow. Uh, yeah. I'll do this. There you go, Pequod is up. Go this way. Pequod is first one we are fighting. And it is getting shot. Can I kill your propellers? I'll kill your additional side propellers here. Hey, you want accuracy? Goodbye. I want to... I need to get in. Where's the AI? Hey, look what I'm doing. <laughs> so I have control over the Pequod now. Um, you should stop shooting. Okay, so the Pequod is pretty crippled. We need to find the AI on her. And I'll try to get her out of here. Where is the AI? Okay. You know what? Let's, let's go into the tab menu. Let's cheat a little bit. And see if we can find the AI. So that is... Weapons. Ah. Uh, that's an ACB. Oh, I think I saw, saw something. That's AI. That's AI right there. So the AI, I think, is below me. Down here. Oh shit. Uh, Pequod, run away. Because now we got the Calmer. Open fire. We have successfully captured a Deepwater Guard ship. I should just state it like that. Hold on, why is our gun jammed? I gotta get this forward turret or this aft turret around. Okay, yep, it's dead. Good, nice shooting. Calmer's dead. So the Pequod is captured. I'm gonna pull pull both of you out of play. Um. Oh wait, no, you gotta you gotta go fight this guy. the uh, Snapjaw. Pequod, for now. Oh, thank you, Panja, for the follow! And w welcome to the Nameless Follower group thing. So this is the first successful um, capture I've gotten. I will pull it back here, and I will probably scrap it. Um, I, I do not want to repair you. In terms of materials, I'm going to say keep no material at all. 
Well, I'll, I'll say keep 1%. Conqueror has... I mean, Conqueror has lost a lot of materials, but probably largely due to the base. If we actually look at the resource zone, how's it holding up? I see the resource zone. Is that a no? I think I have to look at the material gatherers, probably. Actually, I think there is a way to do it. Alright, so that's the ship. Okay. So it's already gone through its accessible material and is currently going through its reserve material. And then you are also in the same boat, correct? Yeah. Or it's slowly draining the uh, reserve material. Okay, so Snapjaw's over there. It is an aircraft. Let's fight it. Okay, so warp me right next or bring me close to it. Let me jump off and now pull back far away. Wow. Actually, you know what? Put it here. Put it here. Teleport me there. Let me jump off. Move my ship back over here. Yeah, okay. Begin battle. Your weapons are on. Oh yeah, it's one of these things again. Hold fire, hold fire. Okay, so now I've got to get, get aboard it. Please hold up. Please hold up against those. Okay. Nope. I need to come at it from really low and then jump really high onto it. Okay. There we go. Where's the AI? Where is the AI on the ship? There's a weapons controller and a detector. There's a detector. Right, I need to get down into the... Oh, okay, so that's damaged. Shit. Go through here. Go through here. Nope, we're on the bow. Yeah, maybe up higher. Or even lower in the ship. Um, there's the engine. I think it's even lower. Alright. I need to go down another layer. I want a successful capture. So this is... Looks like something regarding the AI. Yep, there we go. AI mainframe. Captured. Conqueror is basically good. I do only want you with 1% supply. Uh, both of you are going to be pulled out of play. Actually, your weapons will be active. 
Part of me wants to capture that square, part of me doesn't. Uh, Conqueror, you're gonna go back here, and then you are also gonna go back this way. Actually, you know what? You're gonna go up here, grab those resources, and then head back. And then this should leave me with a lot of supplies at this location. So we got a bit there. How much, how much supply do we have here? 175,000. I am actually going to warp here and I am actually going to modify this with additional cargo containers. Um, so that we have even more resources. Because we do need more resources. <laughs> Let's be real. You know, I put like an additional cargo container down there and it's just not enough. So we're adding, you know, more cargo containers on deck. Just like, probably here, and here. And honestly, might add one just here. There we go. And then, just to make sure that uh, we don't have any issues, I am actually going to add more of the Sky Fortress turbines to the bottom. How efficient are you at the moment? Eh, not bad, not bad, not bad. I'll do a cluster of three. So that we have to draw less power. Alright, so that is good. So the snap jaws here, I'm gonna not order repairs on you. So you are currently about 79,000 materials. Oh. Oh, we got a, another Pequod coming in. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I was going to call the stream, but I think it is... I think we got to fight it. And maybe attempt another boarding action. Try to get a third uh, ship in play. Another one of these ship's captured, and then hopefully I can build another battleship as a uh, partner to this one at the main base, is what I'm guessing. Uh, which means what's probably going to happen is I'm probably going to take Resourceful, move out over here or something, uh, take the Pequod, move it over here, take the Snapjaw, move it over here, scrap the ship, or scrap the two ships, and then just pull it back three more hours of stream, please. No, no three hours of stream. I, I'm already at, I'm already at three hours of stream. I mean, I will continue going a little longer, but still. But yeah, no, next stream will definitely be more focused on uh, building more ships. We can kill this guy, though. I I'm willing to kill this guy before the end of the stream. So, like before, we were very easily able to board the Pequod. Um, and I think we can abuse its uh, potential starting position to try to get aboard it and uh, take out its AI very quickly. So we'll just get, you know, very close to it, like here. Start battle. Okay, so it's moving in here. So if I put my ship... If I put my ship here... Actually, no, I can put... I can just keep moving it, like, here, and push it out. And then I can jump off, about here. And then if I move my ship back a bit... Actually, if I move my ship all the way back here, where does it go? It goes here. It goes here. Okay. So I probably want to be about... Here. Jump off. Put the ship here. Put the ship maybe going slightly away from it. 
Actually, you know what? See if I can control its position a little better. Nope. I need to be here. I need to be in front of it more. Alright. Drop me off. And thank you, uh, Niceman14141 for the follow. And yeah, welcome to the Nameless Follower Group as well. Um, Alright. That should be about a good location, right? That's pretty close. That's almost exact. Yep. That's you know, I can just adjust my location right now and literally board and take this thing. Okay, so if I do... If I jump in the air, begin the battle, and go out of map, I can literally land on top of the Pequod. Oh, come on. Oh come on, let me get up. Let me get up. Damn it, I've been I've been shot by my own guns. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me down. And now there's the AI. Thank you, Deepwater Guard, for your generous donation in materials. Um, alright, so both of you, out of play. I do not want repairs on this vehicle. I am going to order you to pull back. I am going to order you to pull back all the way over here. Show me your ship. Okay. I can show you the Conqueror. So this is Conqueror. She is my battleship. Um, she's... She's very small for a battleship, but she is a battleship, technically. I, I do think I need some improvements, especially to this deck up here, um, in terms of aesthetics. One thought is, um, maybe I'll relocate some of the secondaries and then try to get, like, a fast boat. I love it, it's so cute. Yep. I'm trying to decide... Well, I mean, I'm gonna be building another ship class. I'm My next ship class, I'm... Part of me was thinking, like, maybe a protected cruiser of some sort, but now that I'm semi-reliably able to capture these deepwater guard vessels, uh, that does really help. You know, because this here is, what, 41,000 materials? You, the Snapjaw is, what, 79,000 materials? The other pack wants another 42,000? So I think I'll be able to afford another ship at this point. Um, Resourceful is only able to go 3 meters per second. Play again. And then this is resourceful. This is my uh, cargo vessel. Or cargo repair vessel or whatever. There's not too much look at. I prob Looking at her now, I think I un I estimated her waterline wrong wrong. Do a support missile launcher. I, I don't I don't really want to do missile launchers at the moment. Well, I really did miss miss it. estimate her waterline. Let let's fix this. Let's, uh, correct her waterline. Screw it. I hope this will work. I think the... Yeah, okay, that was expected. But, 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 it's very fixable. Uh, color three. I love your style of shipbuilding. Thank you. I will say, though, this is, like, my rushed style of shipbuilding. This is not my normal style of shipbuilding. At some point, though, I do want to put some of my normal, proper style of shipbuilding in this. Oh, I also made the camouflage. I actually have camouflages in the stock game itself, so... Yeah, um, some of the late miscellaneous ones. I forget which numbers exactly are mine. But yeah, no, I've been, for this campaign, I'm making a custom set of uh, camouflages and a custom set of colors. Although I did include uh, black as a custom color in this one when I didn't originally include it. And look at that, I think she's fixed. Wait, right, no, not sub, not sub objects mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the vehicle. I initially save her as a resourceful class repair cargo ship, and then I save her as TNS resourceful. 
again because in this in the information video it does or video um information screen it doesn't actually give her name so yeah this is this is uh resourceful and i mean this is the view from inside her uh she only has what is it She's not she's not a combat ship. She does have a little bit of armament just in case. Um these are basically a set of triple sixty millimeter auto cannons. Oh yeah, you can see uh the battleship off in the background. So these are the stock weapons. And they fire a bunch of rounds like that. They can maybe do something but against uh enemy aircraft to a limited extent. They're not it's not a terrible weapon against wood, but you know, anything else it's kind of bad. So right now, she's reaching about 12 meters per second. Pull her out of play. I want to pull her back over here. So now she'll actually move at good speed. So Conqueror is already back kind of at the base. At the second fortress, as I've called it. Um, and then the starting fortress is where most of the materials lie at the moment. You know what? Do you guys want to build another battleship? Uh, play... We're going to build another battleship. I'm not going to, like, custom assemble it here, but I am going to load in another Conqueror class BB. What? I right, pull from play. Alright, so... So, uh, part of the requirement is I kind of have to build, you know, almost everything. Almost everything, except for relatively simple things or just, you know, mimicked decals. Um, I basically have to build everything in the campaign itself. Although, if I lose the campaign, I can keep my uh, build progress from a past campaign and use it again. And that has been something I have been doing very much this campaign. All right. Hello there, new battleship. So I believe this will work correctly. So it's going to start off in a weird position. I am actually going to select it. On the tractor beam. So this is just the stock fortress with the stock amount of uh, repair units or the you know, tentacles or whatever. Which should mean that the ship would take a bit to build. Maybe a destroyer class. I'm probably not going to build a destroyer. Uh, one of the things I'm realizing is that I don't think that a destroyer is going to be worth it in this game. At least not in the conventional sense. Because a destroyer would be unarmored. Um... Maybe, maybe you're talking about, like, a modern missile destroyer. That could be good. But normally a destroyer would be unarmored and have to have torpedoes. And I don't think that's a good strategy for From the Depths. There's too many aircraft you have to face. And, yeah. I mean, it's mostly the aircraft. Uh, mostly the aircraft you have to face, so the torpedoes aren't going to be effective against all ships. Uh... And not only that, you're also going to wind up... I don't know. I think you're just going to be better off with armored ships with a lot of guns. So more cruisers, more battleships. Um, maybe battle cruisers technically, but I'm probably not going to classify anything as a battle cruiser. I've hit that point. Torps and a lot of anti-aircraft. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, the, a lot of anti-aircraft could work, but I don't think that the torpedoes are that smart of an idea. Except against submarines. You know what? Destroyers might be a better idea against other nations. I do not think I'm going to employ them against the Deepwater Guard. However, I do think it is a smart idea to uh, do it for maybe the next couple of nations I go to war with, given that other nations might have more submarines. And I think that I can build the torpedoes to be anti-submarine weapons, and maybe also have some sort of a uh, depth charge thing. It would be good against Onyx. Yeah, possibly. Um, torpedo, that could be decent. 
Good success with small submarines with medium torpedoes and single block of small missiles for simple AA after the acquired guard. wonder if, like, an enormous Yamato-sized battleship would be fun. Yes, that would be fun. Um, I do intend to get to there. I do kind of want to naturally progress up the how battleships were historically built, at least somewhat. Look at the map. I want to make sure that there's no deep water guard stuff going there. Nope. So, in terms of this situation, so that Pequod's still going that way, so it's no longer being supplied. So, the Snapjaw is going to be scrapped. And screw it, I will leave the dead, I will leave the dead blueprint. And that should give a lot of materials to these ships. To the other vessels here. Alright, so the Snapjaw, just Moving out. hang out over here. Um, actually just hang out in the corner of the map. Alright. Pequod. Because I want to stick with my building style, so I will scrap the Pequod. But, you know, again, I'll just keep the dead blueprint around as a prize. And then scrap our remaining Pequod. Yeah. That gave us a lot of additional materials. So then you, uh, resourceful, you're going to turn over here. Uh, when do I stream? Whenever I feel like it. Uh... I am going to be doing live streams tomorrow, but probably not from the depths. Um, that'll probably be Among Us. Um, possibly something like Sea of Thieves instead. Uh, and then I'll probably need a day break or two. Or maybe Planet Coaster tomorrow. I do need to do that. But I think my main series at this point are going to be from the depths, Planet Coaster, and Rule the Waves 2. Although, I'm thinking about taking a break from Rule the Waves 2 when I get done with the uh, current series I'm on. Um, taking a couple months break. There's a thought of replacing it with Kerbal. There's a thought of just focusing on From the Depths and Planet Coaster for a bit. Um, with, you know, Among Us occasionally. Because that's a fun game. So now you can see another one of these, uh, battleships entering construction. So what are... The first one's Conqueror. I'm gonna name this one TNS... What should I name it? Um... I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name her Dauntless, or maybe not Dauntless. No, I like. I do like the name Dauntless after the uh, dive bomber, but it's a good name. Uh, Dreadnought would be trolly. Um, no. I'll try to be here for all your FTD. Yep, yeah, I do upload it on YouTube if you want to see the uh, older episodes. Um, but yeah. They have, the, the time the times of it will be kind of random so hope, hope I, I do think sometime within the next week I will be live streaming this again Tiamat eh, I'd rather not stick to or I'd rather stick to English furious after the battle cruiser with a single pair of 18 inch guns oh I'd like I do like I do like the name furious but yeah or I can name her after her sister courageous Tina's courageous BB2. I think I, I think I like that. Because it sticks with uh, Conqueror. So you get Conqueror and Courageous. Oh, hey. New ship defending this area. So what the Deepwater Guard is doing is they're just constantly sending out ships going to the capture zone and then... Doing that, you might consider getting the game Star Wars The Old Republic as another game for relaxation purposes. Maybe, I don't know. You should not be that, you should be a ship. Are you, yeah, you're a ship. So resourceful still going back at how fast? 12 meters per second. Let's just 
actually angle her this way. She'll, yeah, she'll re-angle and it'll look much better on the map. So yeah, that's what's been going on there, is that we keep attacking them and then pulling back and then they just keep sending something new to that location. I'll let them have that new one there. Looks like Onyx Watch has actually pushed down into this area because we've made some progress here. I do still have all these houses which have some additional materials, but I don't care too much. Let's watch, uh... Well, let's watch the battleship get built. Let's watch, uh, Courageous. And I'll save the name Furious for later. I'm actually thinking of, uh... One thing I wanted to do was I wanted to, to kind of really commit to, like, the HMS Lion, HMS Tiger naming style, which the uh, Royal, Royal Navy used on a couple of their battlecruisers. Um... At some point, I wanted to commit to that for, like, battlecruisers, but now that I'm considering just sticking with fast battleships, I might commit to that for more of a uh, Dreadnought style of battleship. Um, something a little bigger. Maybe once I get two uh, ships with maybe four turrets, I'm thinking. Rather than just two. Technically, I can build a third battleship, given the resources. I did. Yeah, because that's a hundred. What I have a hundred ten thousand there. I have another two hundred fifteen thousand here. Unresourceful. Which is cargo. You are a yeah. You're a producer. You're a producer. So I am going to try to be building most of my ships in this area here. Yeah. I do kind of want this more real-time building. Though, although I did put a lot more repair tentacles than the other ones. Probably more than I should have. Because I don't want to go too heavy on them. But, eh, this is working. I might add a couple more repair tentacles here just to speed along the process. I'm not going to add in a lot, but... I still want fairly slow construction. A small gunboat. Probably... I'm probably not going to go with a small gunboat. Um, I, I do think that sticking with, you know, larger, moderate-ish, moderately larger ships is probably about, is probably the way to go. Um, the next ship is going to, I'm thinking the next ship's probably going to be a cruiser of uh, some description. Oh, I like that there's all this extra stuff, but no. Uh, what did I want to find? Uh... I'm being stupid here. Oh, it isn't miscellaneous. I'm dumb. Alright, so... Bam, bam. Bam, bam. That should double... Double the... Well, almost double the speed of production. I technically need, like, one more to double the speed of production, because I have my two repair tentacles. So there's uh, the first set of engines in place. Building the second engine. Pardon me wants to just pull this ship out. Of yeah, I'm just going to pull these guys out of play. And then let them build at a much faster speed. So we can get her closer to done. Okay, so in this regard, you over here... Yeah, you're going to be ordered to not have many materials on you. So starting fortress. I'm going to say keep full, full of material.
but you are in fact a creator. Oh hey, it's done. Let's play. Let's put courageous in play. So I'm gonna save this vehicle as TNS courageous BB two. And then what happens is if I ever rebuild the ship, I can just um, resave her as TNS Courageous and it'll uh, fix everything. So what else is... There. I don't know. I hate... I, one thing I don't like about some of this is uh, how... Um, how, if you, how the construct name and the model name have to be the same. Anyway, Courageous, you are now active. Pull these out of play forces. So you are going to go over it this way. I would normally move you up north, but it looks like the Onyx Watch is now all the way up here. So, yeah, we're going to have to push through down to the south more. So you should be able to move, yep, that fast. Uh, resourceful, you are going to go dump most of your supplies here. And then you are just going to go back over here. And you're going to be currently ferrying supplies between the two locations. You know what? Moving now. Moving now. I'll wait till stuff's in position a little more, and then I will be uh, calling the live stream. So how much you have? You have a hundred and three thousand. Hold up, hold up. You should not have that much material. So yeah, I'll be uh, ferrying back material from this location to this location using uh, Resourceful here. So what I want to do is... Actually, you know what? We could set up a supply chain. So you are zero. So you... You're going to be one. And then you are going to be two. So then resourceful is just going to constantly move cargo from, or the is it materials from here to here, basically. And actually, can we set her up in like a patrol mode sort of thing? I just want to see if this will work when she gets in range. Now nah, procurement's not too high. Now we'll just go back over here. Yeah, okay, that'll work. That'll work. And now we have uh, Courageous and Conqueror. So, we'll be able to push them... Probably... We'll probably be able to push them both to the south and to the north. Or, alternatively, do something where we kind of ping-pong the ships. Anyways, that has been uh, my live stream. Uh, let's see. You are at that level. You are at that level. Okay, cool. And... Oh my god, why why do you have so much material on board? Oh, I missed who followed, hold on. Uh, nice min. To who we? Oh no. Two followers this stream. 
I miss I missed who followed. I'm sorry. Thank you, whoever followed there. Uh, welcome to the nameless follower group thing. Actually, you know what? Could I rewind on the... You know what? Why don't I use the clip feature on the stream to figure it out? I'll figure out who followed here. Give me a moment. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you, uh, Femu75402 for following, and welcome to the Nameless Follower Group. There we go, that worked. And yeah, so for next time I'll be able to send uh, Conqueror this way, and uh, Courageous this way, probably. Um, material... Uh, I'm going to order you guys to keep a lot less material in you. I'll order you to keep more. Why do you have so much... 57. I'll, I'll set you both to 28,000. Yeah, that's good. And yeah, you'll be at 10% as well. So we'll still have some resources here. But, uh, you know, the ship can just continuously bring them back. So yeah, next episode, we'll be, you know, probably building a cruiser at our main base. And, um, or maybe, maybe, nah, probably, part of me wants to do a cruiser. Part of me wants to do a more advanced battleship. Um, I might do a more advanced battleship, honestly. No, I'll probably do a cruiser. Uh... Like an anti-aircraft cruiser or something. So yeah. Uh, thank you everyone. Let's. As one last. No little thing. Let's load up the two battleships together. Real quickly. And I am going to actually grab screenshots here. Alright. Play them both. I'll turn AI off. Wait, AI should be off, right? Yeah, okay, there we go. Wait. I need resource bars off. There we go. So yeah, uh, thank you everyone for watching, and I will uh, see you guys next time then. If you're watching this on uh, Twitch, links to my Discord, YouTube, and Twitter are down below. Discord is where you can get notifications on all of these live streams when they go live. Uh, Twitch, well not Twitch, uh, YouTube is where all the streams get uploaded after the fact, and Twitter exists. Uh, sometimes I'll advertise streams there or talk a little bit but it's usually not much uh if you're happening to watching happen to be watching this on youtube after the fact then the links to the discord and twitter will still be down below uh however the youtube link will instead be replaced with a link to my twitch which is where i originally live stream all these so with that uh thank you everyone for watching let's just save the campaign so we don't lose anything and yeah i will uh i'll see you guys later then Bye! I did not hold that one for very long. Alright, bye!